assalamu alaikum guys and welcome back to a new tutorial and in this tutorial i will teach you how to make bootable osx sera installer usb installer for your hackintosh so the first thing you have to do is you must have an osx sera application in your application folder you can easily get your dmg link for this application the developer preview application from the google and download it once you have downloaded it you have to open your dmg folder and you have to copy it into your installer application folder so once you have copied the application into the application folder you have to open your terminal to, uh, to make a bootable OS X installer you must have a USB of 8 GB or greater in size and then you have to write this code onto your terminal remember don't make any mistake in writing the code and for your A's I have make I have added the code into the description below so you can just copy and paste before pressing enter you have to change insert USB name here and you have to change this with your USB name so for example if my USB name is OS X I have to write here OS X and please don't use name with spaces between because you have to use backslash for that and that can be confusing for anyone out there so it's it's uh, easier it's better to use a single space without space name just like OS X after that you have to press enter and then you have to add your password the password won't be visible and but it will work you have to press enter now it says press Y to start and then you have to say Y once done it will take about three one to mi one minute for erasing and around yes erasing is done and around five to ten minutes depending on your USB speed USB drive speed so once the installation has completed and you can see it says done copy complete and done what you have to do is you have to close this and then you have to download this clever uh, application which is the clever boot bootloader you can download it directly from internet or you can open your clever configurator and I think most of you will have this application already installed and then what you have to do is you have to go to install updates and you have to save on your desktop and you have to check so it will check online if an update is available for your system if the update is available then you have to click update and save onto your desktop once done this will save this file on your desktop now the file isn't uh, saved on your desktop you have to open it you have to say continue continue and you have to change the installation location after this you have to click on your drive which is uh, this one install 10.12 preview the name of the application will be changed and you have to press continue uh, the name of the USB drive will be changed sorry the name of the USB drive will be changed and you have to click on this one and then continue and then you have to go to cost customization once in customization you have to open install for UEFI boot only and install and then here you have to install RC scripts on your target volume and you don't need any of this right now and you have to press install and then you have to add your super password and once the installation is complete you have to add few more things into the clever EFI so right now it's almost going to be complete and we're gonna start copying some of the files into the EFI you have to close this and you have to open your EFI partition of the USB drive you can see this and this have the same icon so you can identify and if you're using hard drive to make installer this uh, hard drive and EFI partition will have the same icon now you have to open the EFI partition of the USB drive or the hard drive you're using and you have to go to EFI and then you have to go to boot then in boot you have to copy this boot EFI boot x64.efi file into your 
partition EFI partition boot folder I will add the link in the dis uh, description below for these files so it is easier for you to find then you have to copy them and replace the one which is which was already placed then you have to go to clover and you have to copy clover x64 into this folder and you have to replace the one which was previously installed then you have to open CAX and you have to make a new folder with name 10.12 I will I already made that so that's why you don't need to add sometimes it will be already placed and sometimes you have to make 10.12 now once you have made that folder with 10 or 12 you have to open it and you have to add this fake smc doc cax and replace if any a cax was previously placed there and then you have to go back and close the efi folder that's all you have to do for installation of for making of bootable usb os x sera installer after that we will reboot into our bootloader and we, I will show you how to install it on your Hackintosh. So let's restart our computer. So now we are in our bootloader in our UEFI BIOS menu and we will select our UEFI USB or if you have used a hard drive and we will press enter. and this blue uh, clover menu will open and from here you have to add few boot flags I have already added some of them which are NVIDIA underscore DRV let me zoom in and you can see so from here you have to add minus V for help if you get any error and you have to add rootless is equals to zero you can erase this nvidia underscore drv to prevent any error then you have to go back and you have to choose os x install from install.10.12 preview and then you have to press enter lines of code will run through your screen there can be a little lag in this menu so don't be impatient and just wait if any serious error will occur the system will automatically restart You can notice the time it might take because I have not edited the video for this time period. So it might be clear for everyone So how long it could take. I'm r right now I'm using an SSD. For those who are using a hard drive, this time might be longer. <coughs> and ta-da! We are inside our OS X server installer so it might load once more or it might not load yes it takes two times like twice the loading and then it starts so now once we are in installer we have to go to we'll use English language and we will install our OS X from here you have to select disk utility and then you have to press continue in disk utility menu you have to go down and you can select any of your partition where you want to install OS X Sera and you have to go to arrays and then you have to select OS X X extended journal and press arrays this will erase the partition and now we will go back and close the disk utility mounter now from here we'll go to install OS X and we will say continue
this can take time as you can see it takes little time to stop now in here we will go continue and we will agree with all the terms and conditions as always we go no other ways out and we say we agree now we will select our partition where we have to install OS etc and we'll say install the installation can take up to 10 or 15 minutes because this is not a single time installation they have changed the procedure of how they install OS X before that the installation used to occur in a single go now it is different now it takes two turns to install the first one is about seven minutes which they mentioned and the second one will be around eight to ten minutes and then you will be ready with your OS X Sierra so I have booted up into Mac OS X Sierra and it's properly working we am doing the screen recording into the in Sierra and now you can see they have changed the way they write Mac OS X Sierra and my graphic card were properly detected you can see the Siri application down here and all the applications are placed as they used to be placed and my displays are correctly displays correctly identified and in applications this is all we got the same stuff as always so that's all for this tutorial guys thanks for watching hope you guys enjoyed hope this helped you if you have any question feel free to ask I'm always here to help you and if you like the video please subscribe to my channel and share the video as well so other might get help too so till then till the next video take care Allah Hafiz Thank you.